This is the video for lesson 19 on my website, greater than and less than. We often need to know which of two numbers is greater. If you find the two numbers on a number line, the number that's to the right will always be greater than the number that's to the left. So for example, 3 is greater than 1 because it's on the right of 1. 3 is also greater than negative 2 because it's on the right of negative 2. Notice that negative 3 is greater than negative 5. Don't just look at the 5 and the 3. You have to see them both as negative numbers. Now we have a symbol that we use to show greater than and less than, and here's what it looks like. I would read this as 3 is greater than 1. And I remember when I was younger, I was taught to look at this symbol as an alligator's mouth. It opens up to the larger quantity. And it's actually still convenient to think of it in that way. There's no reason not to. So we can say that 3 is greater than 1. It's important to understand that we can also read this right to left if we needed to. We would say 1 is less than 3, just as 3 is greater than 1. That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. And we saw before that 3 is greater than negative 2, and we also saw that negative 5 is less than negative 3. Make sure you feel fully comfortable with how that works, because a lot of students get confused once you start getting into negative numbers. Okay. Also, make sure you fully understand how place value works. If we're comparing the number 284 to the number 248, some students think that they're the same, and of course that's not true. Here on the left number we have an 8 in the tens place, and on the right we have a 4 in the tens place. Of course they both have a 2 in the hundreds place, but still we can already see that the number on the left is certainly greater, because the number in the tens place is greater, and they both have 2 in the hundreds place. This is just a very basic introduction to the concept of greater than and less than. Later you'll see how to do this. You'll learn how to do this with fractions and with decimal numbers. And that gets a little bit more complicated, but you'll learn about that in upcoming lessons.